Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have a, a really interesting article because I'm sure many of you have heard of this but I'm not too sure if you have ex actually experienced this. It is about our daylight savings time which I found out last year that most if not all of Eastern Europe including Ukraine does not have or or used to have but does not have anymore so this article is 22 reasons why daylight savings time should be abolished so if you would like to read they're really short reasons not hard if you want to read all 22 or at least just a couple please pause this video right now and then afterwards I will tell you what my opinion is and why it should be abolished so please pause this video right now okay so, as you can see, a lot has to do with economics, and that is truly why the USA, I know, uses daylight savings time. It's The whole point is that if we move our clocks forward by one hour, we get an hour or two more of daylight, especially during the summer, so people can be out late, and I know, like me, get to play golf more and, and longer, although I usually go play golf early in the morning. But it is already light by early in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there's the economic benefits. Me personally, because yesterday I had to experience it, I hate it because I lose an hour of sleep because at 2 o'clock it quickly jumps ahead. 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning it quickly jumps ahead an hour, so I lose an hour of sleep only to make it back up in the autumn. But the problem is, I think, today, while it was very sunny out in the morning, and while it was, I would say, slightly sunny out towards later in the evening, yesterday was March 9th, and I think March 9th is just way too early for daylight savings time. To me, it's it should stay sunny out till 8, early 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., because we don't have 24 hour time in the USA, we only have 12 hour time, so 9 p.m. And that's fine, but in March or April, it, it makes no sense. And now it's from early March till late November that they keep daylight savings time. It used to be early April they did it, maybe even middle of April. When I was a little, little kid, it was late April and early October they would change it back to standard time but now it's just like way too late we're hardly ever on standard time and I don't know I don't really see a point or being it that early and ending it that late especially especially in October and November it's just so dark outside even if they do it it may it doesn't matter so yeah and today I had a tutor for my Russian lessons and all of a sudden I panicked because I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be so late. <laughs> and I realized, I'm like, oh, in, in Russia, they're still on standard time. Never mind then. So, yeah. Hopefully you found that interesting. I don't really know anything about how long Ukraine used daylight savings time. I know a lot of countries like Russia, Kazakhstan, Belarus used to have it. And then... For the next few years they won't use it i know that some places in america a couple places small cities and towns actually don't use daylight savings time and haven't used daylight savings time in like 10 years which i always thought was a national law everything had to go forward and, and then autumn go back but i guess it's more voluntary voluntary than that i don't know so if you have any questions comments just ask I haven't been getting any comments since we've started this, so I hope you all enjoy. If you have any questions about words, would like to know a word for the day, it would be daylight savings time. <laughs> so, hope you all have a good day, and stop by next Monday for a new video. And if you have, again, any questions, please just comment below. Me, Teresa, Irina, and everybody else at Pivot are happy to help you. Okay, bye-bye.